talking thrifty finds. We're talking fabulous fashion. We're talking luxurious looks for a whole lot less. We're talking the Thrifted Look for Less Challenge for January 2022. I'm Shannon, and this is The Thrifty Fashionista. possible to look stylish and still save money. That is the challenge of the Thrifted Look for Less challenge. <laughs> Our host for this challenge is the lovely Barbara Jean from Age is Just a Number by Barbara Jean. She has a wonderful channel that is all about fashion and beauty and lifestyle for the more mature woman. Her link is down below and I know she would be thrilled to have you come over to visit. Our co-host is a sweet lady by the name of Anne Cretney, who has a love for fashion, for clothes, and is a self-proclaimed addict to all things beauty. <laughs> She's also a fellow Canadian. Her link is down below as well. In fact, in the description box below, you will find a playlist to all of the beautiful women who are taking part in this thrifted look for less challenge for January of 2022. So when you're done my video, be sure you go over and take a look. The idea behind this challenge is to start with an inspiration photo, whether you find it on Pinterest, in a magazine, on a YouTube video, be inspired and find an outfit that would look a lot like it but cost a whole lot less. The challenge for you, the viewer, at the end is to let me know if I made the mark or if I totally missed it. So I am looking forward to hearing what you have to say about what I found. Now, let me show you what I found. Well, okay, first let me tell you what I was looking for <laughs> and then I'll show you what I found. I love dressing in layers. Layers is a fantastic way to go when you are going outside and I don't care what the season is. It could be the dead of winter and it could be the middle of, of summer. So when we were given this challenge, and we are in January right now, I thought to myself, what kind of layer would make sense in my life and in my fashion and what could I wear this layer with in multiple different ways. And one of the things I do love to wear is a warm vest. It could be quilted, it could be lined, it could be fur, it, it doesn't matter. I like putting them on actually even over top of my jacket. It, it, gives the jacket a whole other look as well as keeping me that little bit extra warm. So for this challenge I went scanning through Pinterest photos that I could specifically get a look from and then see how best I could catch the spirit of that look. And then I went searching for this. Oh 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 you gotta see what I found. <laughs> so here is my inspiration photo. I really appreciate this look for its simple beauty, its versatility. I have to admit that when you look down at the shoes, that isn't going to work for January. Here we have snow, <laughs> so I'm not going to be wearing strappy sandals. But this is the inspirational look that I have decided to emulate. I know I already have a moto jacket here. I know I already have a Henley and the, the jeans and, and everything else I need. But it's the vest I'm going to be looking for. Oh, ladies, you've got to see this. This <laughs> is what I found. This is a beautiful faux fur vest made by 
Parkhurst, which is a Canadian company. It is knitted on its back and it has this beautiful, oh golly, I don't, I don't even know if you want to call it a, a, a snow leopard print or, or, or what do you want to call it, but it's just, it is soft, it feels luxurious, it feels wonderful. And I thought this will be absolutely perfect to recreate my inspirational look. Now an important thing to remember when you're finding a piece to recreate your inspirational look, you don't want to buy something that you can only wear with one outfit. So here are a couple of other outfits that I came up with and believe it or not, one of them is yet the spirit of another inspirational look that I found that I didn't choose as my number one. <laughs> But it worked and this plaid shirt actually belongs to my son the colors were perfect I don't know what do you think <laughs> did, did I get this I love wearing vests over top of even a sweater now before you rate me from 1 to 10 I'm going to give you the other half of my exciting find and give you the choice <laughs> of what you want to rate me on. Are, are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. I wasn't ready for this. You've got to see this. Okay, hang on, hang on. It's furry. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> it is even reversible <laughs> it is a faux fur vest by guess jeans and yes I found it at the local value village it is in absolutely perfect condition there is nothing wrong with this vest whatsoever this vest is so cool by the way it's reversible. There's a pocket here on the uh, luminescent side, if you want to say. There is also just as deep and beautiful a pocket here on the fur side. This vest is going to give me two looks for the price of one garment. And when I was looking through the Pinterest photos, I found, <laughs> I, I found ladies in purple fur vests. <laughs> now I know the girl in the inspirational photo has a blouse on. I noticed that she has the cold shoulder. If she were here right now, she would definitely have cold shoulders. <laughs> I don't have a blouse like this. I don't have one for cold shoulders and I'm certainly not going to wear it in January in Ontario. But with the idea of keeping in the spirit of this inspirational photo, what I do have is this sweater, which has a very interesting detail that has a bit of a puff sleeve up at the shoulder. So to me, it's still that interesting detail and better yet it's something that makes sense for my lifestyle it's it's one thing to look at an inspirational photo and try to copy it exactly it's a whole other thing for it to make sense for your lifestyle of course if i can only wear this purple fur vest with a puffy sleeve sweater it's not gonna go very far in my closet but I can wear this as a, a dressy look for Sundays. I can wear this really casual with the luminescent side out. I can wear this over my jean jacket with the nice furry sleeves. We're gonna take the faux fur all the way here. The shearling, the fuzziness, the warmth. Ah. Okay, let's talk pricing. Now, 
this was a little bit difficult. I went searching. Of course, when you pick up an item that is thrifted, it's not going to be brand new. And depending where you get it from, it could be a couple of years old. So to go hunting on the net for that item to find the price is a bit difficult. Now, if I were buying a real fur vest, the price that I would have paid easily for either of these vests would have been between one and two thousand dollars. That's luxury. That's not thrifty. <laughs> At least not in my world. <laughs> I want a, a luxurious find for less. One that I can feel great in and feel great about. And the faux fur works for me. What I did find were actually the very same pieces on eBay, on Poshmark, on different places like that. And what I can best discover is, is for the purple fur vest, the one by Guess Jeans, if I purchased it now from any of these sites, with the shipping and the costs involved, I would pay up to at least $120. Buying it new from what I could discover would have been, of course, even more. Somewhere around the 150 mark, I think. My price for this reversible guest jeans purple fur vest, $11.99. <laughs> I think I saved something. I think I saved something. <laughs> when I went searching for a price for this one by Parkhurst, the Canadian company, I discovered that it is sold through the Bay, the Hudson's Bay company, that they carry the Parkhurst line. I went looking and what I discovered was originally this piece would have cost roughly around the $170 mark. The price that I paid for it, $9.99. <laughs> That's a rough savings of $160. <laughs> so ladies, you get to choose if you want to rate me on inspirational photo number one with the brown moto jacket and the parkhurst full fur vest or if you want to rate me against our lovely lady standing out in the middle of the desert wearing a purple fur vest you can choose one you can choose both if you so desire what i want to know is on a scale of one to ten how did i do for this thrifted look for less challenge for January of 2022. Was it a one, I barely lit a candle compared to the inspiration? Or was it a 10 and it's New Year's Eve fireworks all over the place? <laughs> Please be sure to check out the video put up by our host Barbara Jean from Age is Just a Number with Barbara Jean and the lovely Anne Cretney. Let them know what you think of their videos and check out all the beautiful ladies and their thrifty ideas in the playlist in the description box below.
If you found this video inspiring, please give it a thumbs up. And if I made you smile even once, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Because no matter the season, and no matter your style, you're never fully dressed without a smile. <laughs> I'll see you soon.